Hi, welcome to this video on how to insert link to outside pictures, images, video, or website pages to document more your components on your diagram. We've seen in a past video in the customizable library that we can actually create libraries containing components that we need with pictures and all that. Now we will see how we can insert other links on specific components. Basically how it works, we have our basic schematic that we are using here. And what I can do is I can go on to all these different links here. I can insert the text, picture, audio file, video, or other file. The way it works is quite easy. For example, if you click on picture, then I can go on any of the components to decide on which one I want to add this link. So let's go on my cylinder and I will call it picture. I will browse on my computer and I'm going to look for a JPEG and here is the picture I want to put. Then I may want to add another picture but this time it's going to be like a cutaway view of that cylinder. So I click here. I'm going to call it cutaway and I'm going to look for the picture. Again, it's GMP and JPEG. Here is the image. Click twice on it. And now I can approve it. I can also insert a video file. Let's say you've seen a nice video on YouTube or any other site. So for example, you can click on video. Click on the cylinder again and we'll call it YouTube video. And again, I'm going to go on to YouTube to take the link that I want and I'm going to paste it right here. And then I just approve. That's it. You may want also to link, let's say, the specification of the manufacturer of your own equipment. So you may go to other file. So you may add a link to the website of the manufacturer of your equipment. Let's put here website and I'm going to paste here the address of the website that I want. Then I'm going to insert a link to a PDF document for the specification of the cylinder. Click here. I'm going to call it specification and here I'm going to browse for a PDF that I have already put on my computer. And here's the specification that I want. And now all these elements are automatically accessible when you go over the component. You see you have all the links that we just inserted. So let's go see the picture, for example. Here's the image. I may want to see the cutaway. Here's the cutaway. Then I may, as a reference, go see the specification. And here's a PDF document of that particular component. And then I can go again on it and then go see the website of the supplier, which brings me to the exact page that I want. And again, I can go on a YouTube video that brings me to the video that I specified the link for. So you see you can do these for all the components and keep in mind that once you have created all your links, you can drag this component in your customizable library and all these information will be kept inside. Something else you can do, for example, if I insert a picture and I'm going to insert instruction picture like that. I'm going to resize it. And let's say I want the students when he clicks on instruction, he's going to have a voice explaining him what he needs to do with this exercise. So I want to put a link, an audio file link, to this image and I'm, call, I'm going to call it instruction. That could be instruction one because you may have many extra instructions. I'm going to look for the file. Here's my file. I make a link to it. So let's say the student start, open the diagram and then he sees an instruction icon. 
And then when you go on it, it's going to see here the link for the instruction. All it needs to do is click on it to listen to the instruction. Hello, this is the exercise number two. On this exercise, the goal is to change the size of the cylinder and see how the system behaves. You see, so if you want to have more than one instruction, you can just copy this one here and create another link to this one for a second step maybe in the exercise. Thank you for your time and I invite you to watch the other training videos. Thank you.